Hello everybody, Chef Bravo here for uh, Bravo Plant Based Channel and BravoPV.com. Uh, uh, this is episode 6 of the Bravo PV Wheel, except we had some, uh, or I should say I, <laughs> I had some uh, technical difficulties with the camera that I used, it looks all funky. And now we're going to put together a dish uh, using those ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cauliflower florets that I have here and I'm going to throw them in the oven. Okay, so now the cauliflower is roasting. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a beet here, which was one of the ingredients. And you see this is a beautiful Chayoga beet that I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. So I'm gonna use this raw. And the really cool thing about Chayoga beets is this uh, candy stripes that it has. So I'm going to take my um, Japanese mandolin and I'm gonna get some really nice and thin thin pieces. Let's see. There we go. Since I'm using the beet raw, I want this to be as thin as possible because um, a raw beet can have this sort of uh, astringent sort of taste to it. And I want to make sure it's really nice and thin so that once I add the vinegar, it'll pickle nicely. I'm going to line up all my slices here and I'm going to cut them up. All right, so I have like this sort of deck of cards here going on. Um, so I'm going to grab my knife and slice these. So I'm just going to cut these really nice and fine you can see how fine these strips are all right so all these fine strips are going into the uh, mixing bowl here next is I'm gonna get some uh, parsley leaves here. And I'm just going to rough chop these. I'm not gonna go super fine. Take one piece of stem there off. So, okay, so the parsley goes in the mixing bowl. Next is, um, I'm going to add, actually, I should have done this first, but here we go. I'm going to add um, apple cider vinegar to this. And the reason for that is I, I talked about the, uh, the beets having this sort of astringent kind of flavor uh, in the raw form. So I wanna make sure to give it enough time for them to interact with the vinegar. I might actually add just a little bit more. So vinegar goes in, toss them around a little bit, okay, wipe my cutting board here as I make a mess. Next, this is the one thing that did get changed from the original. Um, I used peaches in the original uh, video, uh, but peaches are now out of season. So I'm going to end up using, actually, take my paring knife. I'm gonna end up using um, persimmons, which are now in season, and they're pretty close to in color and flavor profile that I use for the peaches, so I'm totally okay switching over. And now I am going to slice it, just like I did the beets, maybe just a little bit thicker. going to dice these guys just a fine dice small dice you want to call it we go the other way excellent and now you see I have all these little bits of dice persimmon in here which go into the salad my last step 
here is um, the Indian spice, which the wheel landed on. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that. This is a combination of um, cumin, coriander, and mustard seed, as well as uh, some turmeric. So the seeds get toasted whole in the oven. And now I'm just using a pan here to give him a bit of a crush. You can certainly do this in a spice grinder, coffee grinder type thing. You can always go over them with a bottle. Like I could even go over them with the, um, if I close it really nice and tight, the uh, vinegar bottle. So I could just do that as well and get the same sort of effect. But I always like using the bottom of a pot or pan. It's really nice and uh, heavy, so it helps quite a bit. So now this is what the salad is starting to look like. I have the sour tones from the uh, vinegar, the very playful and colorful beets, nice bright green, earthy flavors of the parsley, uh, and the sweetness from the persimmons. So I toss it around a little bit more. And now I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Again, I want to make sure that the beet has enough time to interact with the acidity of the vinegar. In the meantime, the cauliflower is going to come out of the oven. It's uh, going to have this really nice and roasted look to it. I want to let it cool down to room temp and then I'll put the whole thing together. Okay, I have my uh, roasted cauliflower here, which I'm going to add to the uh, salad here in the mixing bowl. Now we're gonna toss the whole thing. Now, this looks sort of odd and different, but it just sort of goes back to my old concept of, you know, combining flavors, colors, and textures. So by roasting the cauliflower, I've increased the flavor out of it. I got the sort of nuttiness from it, that nice roasted uh, flavor. And so I got this nice sort of uh, savory umami kind of thing going on. Again, I got the sour from the vinegar, the sweet from the uh, persimmons and the earthy tones there from the vinegar. And once, I've, once I have allowed the um, the beets to interact uh, long enough with the vinegar, then this salad just comes together really nice. And then if I add the, um, if I add the variety of spice flavors there from the uh, Indian spice, it just all comes together so beautiful, so nice. Um, I hope you guys give this a try because it's really good. Make sure any sort of vinegar that you got left over, just pour it over the top. It acts as sort of the dressing, okay? And I might even do a little extra pinch of that seasoning because it really does go well with this. All right, and that was episode six of the Bravo PB Wheel. I hope you guys liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button, share with your friends and family, let them know all about bravopb.com, Chef Bravo, and the Bravo PB Wheel. Give this a try. It's really, really good.